The weather is really going to be intense, everyone, for the next two weeks as the polar vortex stretches down all the way into the Gulf, bringing very cold temperatures and just ridiculous wind chills for quite some time and very deep. Everyone in the south all the way to the southeast is going to feel these effects. At the same time, it's bringing a chance for a southern snow or ice storm coming along the south or the southeast towards the mid-Atlantic, and it's going to start with two strong storms before this. Now, this is happening for next week in the south, if you're curious. Now, we do have our storms for today that's going to bring the winter storm warning all the way across the central plains all the way towards the great lakes and through the northeast out through new england and we do have the other storm coming through from the west coast as we go into tomorrow and friday but we're already starting out with flood alerts so if you're in this bright green you are in a flood warning if you're in this darker green you're in a flood watch and i'm expecting this area to grow as we go through the next Next couple of days a lot of flooding coming into this area plus your tornado chances have gone up again everyone so you have the two percent in the green the five percent in the brown and now you have this ten percent area chances for tornadoes and over here in the yellow section this ten percent this is going to start off around seven or eight o'clock for tonight really strong cells moving through with a lot of hail in them as well so as you go in through the morning, you have all these storms coming through. Then as you go in towards the evening, still showing around 2 o'clock, everything's going to kick off for y'all in the south. And this is bringing a lot of these discrete cells coming through, all the way from Louisiana, Mississippi, into Alabama. And as you go through the evening, you can see they're all also getting some hail in there in this 10% slight risk. As you go from 2 to 3 o'clock all the way till this afternoon, then they start strengthening once you get around around eight o'clock getting a good hail core in there as well as that goes all the way into alabama also and look at that look at the hail cores on these cells as they come through from louisiana into mississippi into alabama as you go to nine o'clock ten o'clock 11 o'clock it starts dissipating and turning into a little bit of a linear event bringing chances for damage and winds as well still can't rule out a tornado they are expecting a few tornadoes then for tomorrow we have chances for tornadoes also over here for the panhandle of florida going in southeastern alabama and southwestern georgia as that comes up bringing a few discrete cells but you could get some qlcs tornadoes where you have that quasi linear convective system and inside of this line of storms could be a chance for a a quick spin up to happen then we have what's coming on saturday what's coming on saturday has strengthened up as well everyone even have an enhanced feature day four which means this is going to be a very strong storm coming then as this snowstorm goes across the Great Lakes for this afternoon into the northeast, bringing that warm nose way up into the northeast. So it is going to be rain for a lot of y'all eventually and just wash out whatever you do get as that next storm system comes in from the west coast as we go Thursday into Friday as well. A strong storm. This is the one that's bringing this severe weather event. Then we have cold air coming down really deep. You think it's cold now? It's going to get very cold also in the south. And speaking of cold, there's power outages. So we do have 11,000 out of power in Texas. But over here for Virginia, now it's almost 90,000 homes without power and very cold. So hopefully it's gotten better, but it has not. Now it's going even worse, going to almost 110,000. Now this is from the ice storm and the heavy wet snow, everyone. So let me know down below how much snow did you get yesterday? But you can also see here that as you get around 2 p.m., you start getting those cells coming in for Alabama, for Mississippi, also for Louisiana, as you go through the afternoon now this would actually bring a strong chance for actually a few tornadoes to pop up everyone in multiple places but right around two o'clock that's where it's going to start strengthening and you can see on your significant tornado perimeters that it gets strong but once you get to 12 1 and 2 o'clock you have a great chance to get a tornado out of those cells from louisiana going into mississippi then into alabama showing the exact same thing so for today, you do see that little enhanced feature that is going to be chances for winds, but also for tornadoes, even significant tornadoes, everyone, chances for EF2 or greater in that yellow area. Plus the 2% and the 5%, just like I showed you in the beginning of the video. So here's your cities and states at risk for the chance for tornadoes for today. Your significant tornadoes is a white and yellow line on top. Also for the winds, any chance for the very strong winds is going to be in that 30% area. This is where it can get up to 50 miles per hour or greater wind gusts. 
So here's your cities and states at risk for your damage and wind threat for today as well. And National Weather Service has severe storms will be possible this afternoon through late tonight. From the lower Mississippi Valley into and western Georgia, primary severe hazards include the risk for a few tornadoes and scattered damage and gusts. Then for tomorrow morning, as that goes across for Florida, Alabama, and Georgia, here's your cities and states at risk for that threat for tornadoes as well. And then when that storm system comes in from the west coast for Thursday and Friday, will come to us towards Saturday and bring our strong storms for our severe weather on that as well as that pushes east and brings damage and winds and a lot of snow also showing it will be strong as well bringing anywhere from 50 miles per hour wind gusts starting in northern Louisiana southern Arkansas and go across the southeast and you can see these strips this is some strong straight line winds from a linear event that's going to happen 50 60 miles per hour even up to 70 possible in those lines damage and winds as it goes out by the carolinas with 50s high 50s at that and through the northeast bringing 50 60 miles per hour wind gusts plus more potential so just like i showed you in the beginning of the video here's your risk your 15 percent and your 30 percent so far here's your cities and states at risk for the severe weather risk for Saturday for that next storm system and as that comes in for Saturday that's going to bring a lot of storms but then you're going to get this linear event starting in Texas on Saturday evening going through Louisiana Arkansas Mississippi then you're going to get that linear event right here real strong where you can get the chances for the QLCS tornadoes everyone as it goes all across Saturday into Sunday then here you are for Sunday moving further towards the east even getting some cells in front of it so we could see an upgrade for Sunday but it does weaken down a little bit, but I think they're strong enough to go towards a coast where you do have another threat potentially for some damage and winds and maybe a tornado or two. While you're getting all this heavy snow across the Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes, and out through the northeast, then the cold air is going to punch down next week, bringing the chances for that southern snow as well, and the freezing rain is going to come along with that but the cold temperatures are just going to be ridiculous. And you're going to have multiple chances at the southern snow and ice storm, everyone. So it's not just going to be one chance. You have multiple chances at the southern snow and ice. Still showing on a national blend of models after your snowstorm coming through for today until tomorrow. Then when it comes across for Friday for the West Coast, Saturday for the Great Lakes, out through Sunday more for the Northeast, you can see it does bring still all the way up towards that 7, 8 inches into Iowa and brings a foot plus for southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, northern Indiana, going through Michigan and across northern side of Ohio. Very heavy snowfall rates. Also across the northeast into New England is where you're going to see chances for nine inches to a foot once again. But the next week, then it goes even lower with that big Arctic blast. And this is where it's going to bring chances for that southern snow to come across. Even all this gray over here into Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, northern Mississippi. That is all one to two inches in that gray still. Just because it's not blue don't mean it's not snow. And showing it would be a rough transition. Showing it would bring some mix. Chances for freezing rain also and over here along the Carolinas. And with that storm coming from Saturday, bring chances for freezing rain. And you can see this on the latest ensemble as that pushes through for tomorrow. We get the one coming in for the West Coast for Thursday and then comes across for Friday and Saturday across the Great Lakes. Bringing chances for freezing rain again with all that heavy snow out through the Northeast multiple times bringing chances for freezing rain for indiana ohio and pennsylvania and some of new york it could add up multiple times within a 24-hour period just be aware of that as that pushes out for sunday then we get all that southern snow potential with that southern mix that could happen both times remember there's two chances at that happening but showing the warming event in the stratosphere is not going to be blocking too long and it is going to be cold enough but it's going to punch down towards the south now showing around the 19th it's going to start climbing back up until the 21st and then it should start warming up everyone you can see the latest update with the stratosphere as that comes down with that very cold blast it hangs around still all the way to the 19th and the 20th then it starts retracting back and showing it will remain back and then we're going to go into our spring.
So here's a new alert. So you do have the big area of cold temperatures. Still have that slight risk all the way into Texas, all the way across the southeast to the 22nd and the 23rd. But now they added the moderate risk for stronger colder temperatures coming into Texas, northern Louisiana, into Arkansas, Oklahoma, and northern Mississippi, all the way through the central plains as well. Very cold air coming down. Plus the snowfall. They did add a slight risk from the 19th through the 20th and all of this purple section for this snow to come in and through the northeast. But as far as the snowfall, showing is going to be more like Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Arkansas, a little bit of Tennessee, Kentucky, and then go out through the mid-Atlantic, bring some more towards Virginia, maybe Delaware or Maryland. Not taking it too far to the south, everyone. You can see with the Ural, the snowfall coming with that next snowstorm coming towards the south. The two battle areas as shown by the Ural. Now, when you look by the GFS, you see it's a little bit more to the north, but it's showing pretty much the same areas as well as who's going to get the snow on that system. Everyone else has a chance to get a little bit of snow, but mostly it's going to be a mix or a freezing rain issue. Because that's what GFS is picking up on as well. It's going to be a strong freezing rain issue that's going to be the mixture and not so much of a snowfall towards the south. But thank you so much for your time, everybody. I'll see you this afternoon for the update. Make sure you click that bell and select all so you can follow along with the new information. If this has helped you, please consider hitting a like, even that shared button down below. Help another nice family like yourself. You see how strong these storms are going to get. The more information we can get out there, the safer everyone will be. Thank you so much. Remember to alert your neighbors, everyone. Let them know what's going on. Make sure you check on their pets as well for these cold temperatures coming down. Just make sure everybody will be okay as we go through this intense transition, in my opinion. It's going to be very strong. Now, before you go, Psalm 46, 1 through 4. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Selah. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. Amen. Have a great day, everyone. Remember, do not fear. God is always in control, everybody. I'll see you this afternoon for the update. All glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you this afternoon.